What's up guys, it's your boy Jcast. Fine, I'm here today with my first ever Sony Vegas tutorial and this is a velocity syncing tutorial. Yeah, there's millions of syncing tutorials out there, but I think my way that I do it is a very unique way. I did not make it myself, I got it from my boy BMC, link to his channel will be in the description. He's an amazing editor, but anyways, let's get right into it. The song I'm using is XO by The Eden Project, if you want to just listen to it. <laughs> And pretty much I just have the, the the markers are at all the beats, which is pretty self-explanatory. You should put a marker at the beat that you want to use. Um, I'll just drag that to make it look better. But you just put markers at the beats you want to use. As you can see, they're all... All the beats are... I mean, all the markers are on the beats properly. It might not be the best right now, but it was just quick and little. And then I have uh, this all lined up. Um, I'll just explain this really fast. So in the first part of the trick shot, what you want to do is you want to find a beat that you want to put it on. And I pick number one, have, a, uh, have it like go uh, nice and cool, uh, and then hit right there. You just line up the uh, bullet shot, and you line it up with the first beat, and then you use the trick shot, and then you cut out, like, as you can see, as I had all this. So I cut it out uh, just around here, and then delete that. And then over here, is after he hits, he obviously hits the ground, and you want to cut straight to the kill cam. You don't want him sitting around. So I just went, and how I know where he starts in the next kill cam, I mean, in the kill cam, is you pretty much want to sink and find a good spot for the shot to hit. So for me, it hits right here. And what I do here is in all of these, you have one, two, three, four markers in this one clip, which is the same clip I just cut it out. So I can sync it, and all you gotta do is insert velocity, and in each side. So you're gonna obviously have one at each marker, just to uh, make it even. So you have one at each marker right now, and then you do two in the middle. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter where. Right now, I'm not gonna go in depth on where they go. But what I do is that you want to pull all the edge markers uh, up. There you go pull them all up and then you want to put all these to 50 so 50 the velocity gets to be a very repetitive thing and you just have to consistently do it um, but in the end it makes it, everything look a little bit cleaner and then you want to do fast to slow fast to slow fast to slow and you should have this <laughs> And then over here, I don't know why, but it does it a lot, is it will shoot a little bit earlier and then go. Um, but you can fix that. All I do is I delete that, and I drag this out, split it right there again, and then take the velocity off of this clip so that it will look clean. And let's get right into the second part of the tutorial, and this is going to be a screen pump, how I do my screen pumps. So pretty much we're going to do it on the scene where we have the velocity and everything. And it doesn't really matter. You can do the same. And the velocity is all synced. So what you want to do is you want to go to each, the two middle ones. And you want to hit the little pan crop button. And over here is I have a nice little, I have a preset. Um, it's just pump. Just bring it in about this much. It doesn't really matter how much you bring it in. It's all about what you want. And change this one to fast. Go about five frames back. Four, five. And you're going to want to take that and restore it back to normal. So you're going to want to go to this keyframe. You're going to want to do the same exact thing. Pump. Fast. And you're going to want to go back. Three, four, five. And I forgot to say about these. The going five back, you want to put those to slow. And then you can go to the last one. You can do the same exact thing. Just restore that. Pump. It's always on fast. Two, three, four, five. Restore and put it on slow. You can go over here and you can put it on pump and just leave that because then it will look like this. <laughs> to me, I think that looks really clean. It's uh, not too quick, not too slow, and they, they really go with the song. 
And that's pretty much how I do my velocity syncing and my uh, screen pumps. Then again, my velocity is from DMC, but my screen pumps, I really don't know where I got them from if I did, but um, I think I, I don't want to say I came up with it because someone probably did, but I think I just played around with the settings and I did that myself. And um, I hope you guys do enjoy. And this is my first Sony Vegas tutorial. Uh, I'm a Sony Vegas editor. I want to try to learn uh, After Effects and everything. But again, I hope you guys do enjoy this little tutorial. And I'm out. Peace.